mandi nyulle nata kajado ganyandi nyulle nata o kajolo lufanam fintindi facebook oto youtube facebook oto goeko youtube gambia talent muna promotion lem gambia talent muna promotion mbanda jaworo de maribunga wate wate muna kejubele wate wate muna Ngela moile wate wate buna ngela kuomila gambia talent boy gambia talent boy gambia talent tv nyunule la do kuo seneyata gambia talent tv nyunule la do kuo betiyata gambia gambia do kuo betiyata gambia talent tv nyunule la do kuo seneyata gambia talent tv nyunule la do kuo betiyata ye gambia gambia do kuo seneyata Hello. You want to know about the Gambia entertainment industry? You want to know the existing policies and programs of the arts and culture sector? You want to know about the governance and management of the arts associations? The program will throw a fresh light on the entertainment industry in focus. We will touch so many angles about the cultural sector, the opportunities and challenges, and interrogate them, and most importantly, offer solutions. <laughs> Hello, good evening, Hello. and welcome to yet another edition of the Gamsobis in Focus. And tonight I have two distinguished guests um, who, is, who are going to join us um, in this uh, program. Um, my guests, I think you, you are around. Um, can I see you? I'm not seeing you all. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. yeah, that is Baba Gale. And the other guests, uh, Pamodu. Can I see Pamodu also? All of you together. I want to see you together. Assalamu alaikum. So Mbokai, Mbokai, today we will in, our introduction will be um, in our local languages. We will just introduce each other. Pamodu uh, nangadef, you know, Baba Gale nangendef. You nagi fine. Only in, in, in our language, or we can make it with English, or under our language. Yeah, we can make we can mix them together. So today, I just want a, a little bit of a uh, twist, um, like in the introduction. Okay. Yeah. So how are you doing? Again, the you're not getting fine. Jamarek, Jamarek. Can we start? Manda pamuru. Wow, you're at pamuru. Kunega, kunega, muna start. Okay. No, galada mar, galada mar, kyo. Madam. Okay, man, gale, gale, pamuru jawla. Kere mani duge bakau. Mm -hmm. uh, see, army, I was born in the army camp. Uh, okay. Really first, it was called that 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 time. Uh, mm -hmm. I um my 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 dad and my grandfather were all in the military in the uh, army, and mm -hmm. I, I was born in the army camp of uh, Bakau. Wow. So yeah. see, army camp be, being a judo. Uh, so you are a soldier. No, me not. Me not. <laughs> me not. Me not. I, was I was only born there. <laughs> <laughs> you were only born there, okay. A pamoru nakamna pamoru yo fanga juge a esa holanda berending or the bunyadu. Wow, uh, man, man, it's a pamoru sar, man, it's okay. Esa, uh, my not bank region of the Gambia, so man, not bankala. Okay, no, I buy poly egg, jola egg, jaranke, you know, wow, ah, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. Yeah, that is That's very good. And, and did you know? Did you know that um, I did my uh, grade six uh, uh, certification in 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 uh, in branding, You know, but I was going to school in Esso. By then, uh, Ustas uh, Khalifa Jame, Ustas Khalifa Jame was there in Esso, so I was with him. And then I was going to school uh, in in branding. Yeah. So that was in 1990, 1993, 1994, academic year. That is right. I yeah. know Stas Khalifa so, very well. You, you know him very well. By then, um, you know, newly 
time bogunono la guy ubi won sen a uh, mox bogunono uh juma be juma bo as we buneka si bore health center be just as adjacent to the health center yeah, exactly yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so interesting you know all the divisions all the divisions in the gambia man stay now for funono i did my um senior secondary school in janjambure makati amitage high school so my mom was a teacher and she was teaching in base and jara soma as well lrr and urr so and then i i did my grade six in uh nbr you know and my mom was teaching also in farafenya so I was one time in Farafenya also, and at the same time, I am born in ba uh, in Banjul in the capital because my mom is from Banjul, okay. and at the same time, I, I live in uh, CRR in Bansam because my father is from CRR. So all the regions in the Gambia, I have a privilege to know all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a coincidence. You know why? Uh, uh, my my dad was a teacher as well until he retired very um, mm. you know just recently, and I've also okay. had the opportunity because he's a teacher. When he transfer, I get transfer. So I've been in North Bank, CRR, LRR, URR, in all the regions. So okay. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, it's like a coincidence that you have a teacher that you like you have your mom as a teacher and I have my dad as a teacher, and we are all going exactly. around the same cycle. <laughs> wow 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 interesting enough so um gentlemen um two months ago we started conversation in the arts and culture sector of the gambia and this is the reason why because of our cultural influence i am trying to uh, bring some jokes uh, with regards to our gambian tradition and culture because we all know each other we are a one big family but again extending that into the arts and culture sector um we're trying to uh, forge partnership and also be, uh, build strong alliances whereby we can be able to promote uh, the cultural heritage of, of the Gambia, not only music, but again, on different aspects of the arts and culture sector. And tonight I will be having uh, you, Pamodu, um, uh, an interim committee member of the Musicians Union of the Gambia, and our big brother, Baba Galejalo. A lot of people know him as a DJ, uh, Gale, DJ Big G, I mean, he is uh, one of the notable organizers of big festivals uh, in Germany. Um, he is working with a movement called Catch a Fire. You know, just behind him, you can see a lot of posters, uh, some of the uh, programs that he has been engaged in. So we're going to hear from all of you. Baba Gale, can you, uh, we will start with you. Okay. Um, Amodu, so we are going to start with our big brother. Baba Gale, can you tell us something about yourself? How do you come up with all these yes. programs and how do you enter into the European um, uh, event organization? Uh, first, first of all, I have to say that uh, we fullers are the fathers from the Mandinkas, the Olof, the Jola, <laughs> and all the we are the fathers. So, <laughs> we agree, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, um, I, um, I'm staying in the southern part of Germany, in, uh, uh -huh. near Stuttgart. Okay. And, um, uh, I'm doing it. My, my brand is called Catch a Fire. Okay. And um, Catch a Fire is a mix. It's a mix. I'm a, I'm a party organizer, organizer. My English yes. is very bad. And... Mm -hmm. uh, DJ, I will not say because I'm a very bad DJ. As I said, that's why um, I will not book myself as a DJ. <laughs> yeah. But good DJ is Fireman. I love Fireman how he how he play because uh, when I was last in Gambia, I was on his two shows in the Gambia, and he's really great. And he's not playing no hype or so, but he's playing the vibes. Fireman, big up. Um, okay. Okay. I I start like um, two thousand. 2000, yeah, 2002, I start to, after five years when I was in Germany, I start to uh, to, to make my brand, these parties and so. Mm -hmm. start in a small club in Stuttgart called Röhre. Röhre is, uh, what is, what is Röhre? I don't, you know, I don't <laughs> know the English word. Uh, this is where I start to make my uh, parties. This one is a mix like uh, uh, concert and, and, and jam session. This means that okay. one DJ will play for one DJs will play for like five six bands, 
and we will have a, a warm up and after show. Mm -hmm. And this is a, um, I, I start this with a with, with lot of German artists and so like, uh, I don't think people know them, Nikita Man, Mono, Nati Flo, Sentinel and this, this whole thing, artists and um, artists and, and bands and sound systems and so. And um, yeah. Malaga Olof, so that, so that speaks of Olof too. That I hope everybody yeah, yeah, if you want, if you want a mix of all, yeah, if you want. Okay, okay. A mix of all will be a little bit difficult, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can continue then. Yeah. And and um from this time I uh, from from Rere was was uh, one of the clubs that supported me from the beginning. And from there um I start to go to other clubs too. So this mm -hmm. was it was like um from the from the beginning it was like that, like um this catch fire parties were more uh where it's like um it's more in a, on a German on a German dance or reggae and something like this, and the, mm -hmm. the public was from the beginning like ninety nine Germans, maybe mm -hmm. two, maybe two three blacks or whatever how you call, mm -hmm. how you call it and so, and this this developed uh, in this in this way, but mm -hmm. but this doesn't mean that I was only having the the, the German artists I was having to like uh, people like Morgan Heritage and later on. Uh, Christopher Martin, uh, Cecile, Mark Copra, and just to name, and gentlemen, yeah, of course, gentlemen. Okay. And gentlemen, I, I knew gentlemen like, 50, let, let's say 15 years ago, he was he was with one sound system, uh, they played in Hamburg, something like this, in Silly Walks, they were called, and so this is where okay. I, you have to know gentlemen, and so. And, All right. But this is really, really long time, and so and since since we knew each other, the contact was always really was always there. And gentleman is one of the most humble brother brothers, and he he's straight and he's like this since before he's so big, and still now he's he's still the same. You don't change because of he's big or whatever, and so you know. So that's why he's like how he is because it's important people just to be like how they are. Exactly. Exactly. So the the bugan lache, the ma bugan lache fu fu no no. So the family at the beginning you started uh, in the clubs, and yes. then later um, uh, the brand Catcher Fire was big, and then you extended um, out of the club, and that was like organizing events, uh, festivals, and and so. Can you make that clear to us? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I um I started in the clubs, clubs in Lakumase, mm -hmm. and then after um it it. Okay, if I make big, I don't make always big like uh, in, in like the whole year, but like every year I just make uh, two, three big parties and so. This, okay. These this festivals and so, and the the thing is the the the, the guy who is organizing this summer jam is is from Stuttgart. Okay, the one the one the one organizing summer jam summer jam festival. festival. Yes, it's from Stuttgart, and and you know Stuttgart is is big, but it's not that big that people don't know each other. So that means that we know each other too, long time and so. And he's just um, he's a very open guy, and he's just he has his eyes open to everywhere. You know, this means that he's not looking only the big things; he's looking to the small things, and he's following some things, and he's very just he keeps his eyes on the streets. You know what I mean? You know? So through through knowing knowing him, and he knew what I do. Uh, this mm -hmm. is how we get more connected and so and then um this is how we we start to work together okay we get to these festivals and so he is doing this this summer jam but when he do like of course in summer jam we're always big african artists like this old school like you should do uh salif Keta or whatever you call them they were always there but alpha plonding also was alpha there Plonding, of course, yeah. not a group or, or whatever but when mm -hmm. it comes to to this this like this this new school but it's lately like like fuse or something like this like to to make their default um afrobeat party there what is in a festival level and so then this is what 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 i organized there with him of course for him and so what what i organized and so so you you are telling us that uh the organizer of um um maybe the organizer of um summer jam festival is a partner of you uh like he's a partner yes, yes okay wow that is that is so that is so interesting so we will come back to you mr gale yeah. um 
So Pamodo, Pamodo, how are you doing? And and just a little intro about yourself. Um, as a member of the Humanity <coughs> Stars Band, I know them before. Uh, your band have been traveling um to africa around africa senegal and also in morocco because i am aware that there is a festival in morocco uh that you are attending every year um i, I forgot the name of the festival i i you know i i think we, we are part of the pioneers of um that festival because we got the link through um um arterial network african chapter which was a pan-African movement of artistics organizations. And they were the ones that uh, supported my cultural entrepreneurship training program in South Africa. And uh, there was a time Mam Lisa was our um, uh, executive director in that chapter. And she was linking humanity stars um, to be able to go for that uh, festival in, uh, in, in Morocco. So, um, if you can tell us something about your band and yourself as a manager um, for the people to know. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Khalilu. Uh, just before I proceed, I want to thank you so much, of course, Gambia Talent Promotion for uh, putting this through. I just want to equally say I am not the manager for Humanity Stars. The manager for Humanity Stars is Mbaite. Uh, of course, I'm sure you know by the very well. Okay. Uh, but we've been around the cycle uh, to support each other here and there. Mm -hmm. So I actually um, came into contact with Humanities as, as a fan. It's, it's very interesting for you to understand that uh, I came in contact with the band as a fan. And uh, I, you know, I was basically supporting uh, in working with the fan group, like creating the first fan group of Humanities Stars, which was was uh, really phenomenal but equally to to make sure that uh, <clears throat> I support uh, my boss of course baby day uh, in his day-to-day -day activities in running the band and all the logistics here and there so I've been there so uh, we've been doing that uh, over the years so at some point uh, because personally uh, like you could say in all of them also, all right so <laughs> then I started out with when it comes to instrument and uh one thing leads to the other and i started playing drum uh, for you know for the humanity stars so um away from that you you are right uh the humanity stars have been traveling the world uh to do especially in africa i think uh, the band has been to venezuela before uh of course uh, if i'm right that wasn't the invitation of the of the venezuelan people of course through their government and uh away from that as well uh, i was also uh, opportune to be a part of the team that actually left the Gambia to go to Morocco, Rapa, Morocco yeah. to um, attend to the Visa for Music. Uh, visa for Music, yeah. <clears throat> visa for Music, yeah. And uh, I'm happy to... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's actually Visa for Music. Uh, I'm also very, very happy. And I have to say that my boy today is today ambassador of Visa for Music in the Gambia. And uh, he's basically responsible for all... Um, anything that has to do with the visa for music in the Gambia, he's the focal point uh, for all of that. But away from that, um, <clears throat> my love for music has actually been there before uh, the humanity stars. Uh, I remember I used to take my money and then take artists to my village because I come from SO. So I would take artists to my village to present them. There's going to be on and so on. And this I've done with Njai Bidi Conqueror before. I've done with Nancy Nance at the time. Uh, and so on and so forth. So that that actually <laughs> tells you we basically uh, like love this music before now. But I had this special special love for humanity stars, and that still exists because uh, I just felt like this uh, dynamic group of young people that are just into music uh, to make ends meet, but also for the love of it. And uh, all of them are really talented. Well, uh, you know, catch my eyes. You know, if you know if that's the way to say it was the fact that um, you know, they play instrument music. And that is, for me, that is the basis for music mm -hmm. moving on. You, know, you can do all your studio thing, but at the end of the day, if you're not able to put that out there on live or semi-live, then definitely you are, uh, even if you're going, like, it's going to be very minimal. But of course, the world is changing. Things are happening. And a lot, uh, you know, definitely is at... Uh, is out there for grabs. Okay, so you. So that was how I actually <laughs> normally was coming. Out. 
So you, yeah, I, I was just about to ask you this question. Are you also a drummer in, in, the, in, the, in the band? Come back to that. I said uh, you came in the program. I said, yes, I, I am the drummer for the Humanity Stars. So when you said drummer, when you said drummer, you know, I'm yeah, talking about the height. Of course, I have to say that uh, then we got... Yeah, not like the sabar type, you know, the sabar drum, but um, because that there are the percussions. Yeah, yeah, um, you, you're you talking about the main drum, the drum set, the drum set. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about the drum set where you have the high heart, where you the, have you the know. drums you know, the snare and, the, and also the ball the one I'm talking about. Wow. So, so he, he, yeah, so before, one. that means uh, before uh, sex. I actually don't play. I tried it was you play. after sex, after after sex. No, no, uh, it was sex before, and then after sex left, then you have, have mom samba uh that is samba. Then samba also left. And say came back again, left again, and now I came in. And still, we have another very talented youngster called Mohammed. He is very, 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 very mm -hmm. uh, in what he does, and he's also coming up. So it actually tells you that humanity stars is more of an you know a music institution which actually allows young people to grow into their talents and then make ends through it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I, I think that is very clear. Um. You know, so you were part of the humanity, humanity stars, you know, from day one, and then you've been encouraging them, um, supporting them on managerial side also. I mean, um, you played also with them, you are still playing with them, and at the same time, as a musician, because you are automatically a musician, a drummer, uh, that should be a musician. So, and that takes you to the music union of the Gambia. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about the musicians union? How did you come to the fray? Well, um, thank you. So, you know, um, because by virtue of the fact that I'm with the humanity stars, I remember we were at the, uh, you know, the open mic rehearsals, which was mm -hmm. last year. And then we got the information that Congress was happening the following day. And uh, then we were equally asked to, to, you know, to be there in attendance. But away from that, we even thought, uh, you cannot talk about Gambian music if you don't at some point mention humanity stars, which is very important. So we decided to go there because we are all musicians and uh, the band is registered with the NCAC, of course, with the Musicians Union. So we went there mm -hmm. to serve as representative. And uh, during the deliberations, I think for one or two of the contributions that I had, uh, uh, you know, made over, there. and uh, then we got to the part that was supposed to elect the, uh, the AIM committee that was supposed to work for uh, the quality Auction, and then that was equally uh, mm -hmm. asked to be a part of it, and I accepted to the task, and here we are today. Okay, so um, what is your role? Uh, your role is Secretary General or the Assistant in the interim. Uh, I'm, I'm not the Secretary General, uh, I'm just a member of the Interim Committee. Just a member of the Interim ah, Committee. Just, just a member. Okay, so Yapamoru, yeah, we, we will talk about that yeah. later. Yeah. That is important, but we will talk about that later. So Mr. Gale, yeah. um, you know, you were, you were telling us some interesting um, uh, stories about how you came to uh, organize all these festivals. And um, I've also seen in your profile that um, one of the biggest radio station in 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 Stuttgart, um, you know, in Germany, I can say uh, that has more than 10, 10 million uh, listeners. You are providing them playlists um, on Afrobeat, dancehall, reggae, and um, uh, roots and reggae. How how do you do that? <laughs> yeah. How how do you do that? Um, uh, are you having some Gambians on that platform? Um, as a uh, the, the the radio station is called Big FM. Big uh, FM, yeah. Big FM, yeah. It's um, very known in Germany. And mm -hmm. Big FM um, is one of the radio stations that I'm working with, like since um, like more than sort to twenty years, because they are from Stuttgart to the main base or second second main base is in Stuttgart. And um, through working with them, they follow and know all what I do, and so. And then this is how we got to work together. 
so the the um the, the program what i have there it's like um um a mix from dance or reggae afrobeat um and roots and so it's all mixed and so and of course of course there's gambian music there st is there i'm playing st just the gambians i know and just their music i have from jelly mad st diesel nobles um just you know the, the name just to name a few okay yeah. and then and then um uh, like we were talking about um so there is some form of uh royalties uh that, that, that is going to these artists probably if they are registered with international uh copyright bodies like uh jima uh, the one we have in germany um yeah. because because your your send them in 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 dutch uh that's how it's send them. <laughs> whatever we have to, yeah the channel your channel okay in english is channel so yeah. in germany is send on so yeah. but your channel is um is very popular and you are providing them playlists so that means automatically Gima is collecting some monies and um, probably this artist will have access to that of course of course but the, the 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 thing is like i told you um you know we just have to put the artist force on the map mm -hmm. music make them know them and make them be known and mm -hmm. then will come come okay. you know what it is you hear me you hear me yeah I, I, i'm hearing you um my boss is coming in so oh. i think the program is beautiful yeah so okay. yeah that's great that your boss is coming in yeah uh, yes because most of most of these people or most of us we just think we we just want to have the money now and whatever and so and all these things is coming with everything you have to build build yourself build the artists and build everything uh and then all this thing will come exactly and we have to introduce the people here to to be known yeah. exactly you know, exactly you know? but but that is that is exactly the question that i want to ask you because um like um your event uh catch a fire as an event uh like summer jam so how did you go about with the with the registration, the legality with regards to the tax that you pay to the government and all that? Can you give us a little bit knowledge about that? Because that is an outdoor festival and that is what we want to do now. We want to graduate from the club programs and take our artists, you know, outside, you know, outdoor Gambian owned festival where you can have 10 Gambian uh, artists, you know, coming in, 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 in one night. I mean, you know you know how do you go about all that tell us what do you what do you secure in germany okay to like, do that? I, like i tell you this this like the summer i want to say i'm not organizing it's just a partner and we are just working on different kind of levels and so but the mm -hmm. thing is, to do here something you have to register everything mm -hmm. you have to register it you have to um make insurance to you have to because the the, the security of the people is more important than everything. It's very important. Mm -hmm. you, know, you just come and do just like how you like or feel. Things don't work like that here. Mm -hmm. And not not everybody too is working too with everybody because sometimes it took just a little bit time and most of the people, they just look who you are, what you are doing, since when, with who, and do all these things. And so because you never know because anytime they get you in, in things like this, if something happened, they have to stand for everything. Like if, if like, just for example, if if a big festival take me as a partner and I just do with them some things and then um, things don't work how it is and some things happen or whatever, they mm -hmm. have to stand for it because at, at the first point they is their is their name what is there up there. Even we are, if we are partners and everything is paperwork and everything, but they as 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 the fourth part they are as the first people they have to be responsible in everything so they have to take care and um and look very good what they do and with who like i tell you with who and what what you've done till now and however just like just like this this radio station what you say they would just uh, give me their a program or whatever just like this but if, if you are, if you are working like 20 years or something sort of 20 years and they see my things we do this and that together and things work and so on so yes then they can they will give me this or so if i tell them okay look this guy is doing this and he's doing it good and so i can give my word for other people but they just don't take people just like this because of they, they have a lot to lose and so 
Okay, so but but now with, with collaboration, uh, with collaboration uh, with regards to uh, the Mississippi Union of the Gambia, I'm just giving an example. Or with some of the partner DJs and some of the event organizers in in Europe, when you guys come together, do you think uh, you can be able to guarantee that to have a platform that will showcase Gambian music, and then it can be like a festival? Um, I can tell you one thing. I can I can guarantee the music still straight to walk to to play on on stations. What mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having in the hand is I can guarantee, um, and I think. Of course, we can do that, but the thing is, um, it you know, you know, somebody have to go on in life. You have to go on. You don't just want to stay somewhere. If exactly, if we want to only play for for Gambian public, of course we can do it. You know, mm -hmm. but I think every musician had to have this fantasy or want to be just more than that because I I I can I can stay on my uh, comfort zone. Zone. Mm -hmm. I will feel good and I have like my 10 fans or whatever who will uh, always be there, support me and so But I think after some time, you don't have the, that, you know what I mean. You, for a musician to go further, you just need need to um, open up. Know, open, open up and do more than that. And the, the thing is, um, sometimes you have to sacrifice some things. Mm -hmm. To get some things, yeah. Exactly. And you just have to like, um you have to work for something the, this mean like to to we have to put them first on the map and we have to promote the music till people know it and you can get more people than only what is in your comfort zone the best buy skill is just the buy skill is english german so the example yeah the best example yeah the best example is like 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 somebody like even bob marley he have to do a lot of tours where he get less and even less to nothing just to promote himself you know, because you can be as good as hell if nobody know you. It don't help. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I I am getting to understand you, Mr. Gale. So are you telling us that it will be better to do what you call kind of cultural exchange, whereby you will have a Jamaican artist, a German artist, combination of let's say five German artists that you know, and then you fuse it with two Gambian artists. Are you? Is that what you're talking about? This this is this is one of one of it, but I would I would uh, push the music first on on radio or just I will push it first that the people to just do to see it as much as possible first. Exactly on the, on the radio also. Okay, um, Pamudu, um, um, Harama is this my boss? Be then you know, then what done today? Um, um, uh, Pa Usman Juf. Welcome, Mr. Juf, to the program. Mr. Juf, uh, I think Pausman is gone a little bit. Uh, Pamodu, <laughs> so you hear what he was saying um, as a manager and at the same time a musician. Um, what do you pick up um, from what uh, Mr. Gale was saying with regards to uh, fusing Gambian music with um, with uh, Gambian musicians with other musicians to be able to stage? international festivals um uh, like in europe and to have that opportunity also uh to play them more on international radio uh, stations so that uh, a lot of listeners out there could be able to know these gambian artists and then will have interest in booking them for um tours and things like that i think your mic is off pamodo pamodo's mic is off yeah, yeah i can see it I hope he hear you. Okay, yeah. now he got me. Now he's on. Yeah, he. Got, yeah, he got. Are you mm -hmm. getting me? Man, he doesn't like it. I think So, Pamo, did you hear what I was saying? Hello. No. Can I repeat it again? I so I was saying if you if you were listening to um, Mr. Gale, um, he was talking about um, connecting Gambian musicians to the world by you know um, like the channel that he is having. Uh, which is the online channel that he is having, um, playing them, you know, at the same time on the radio station, and then through that, you know, that uh, interaction can come between the artist and the audience um, in the outside world. What do you say to that, as as a member of the humanity stars and also a musician? That was the question.
I hope he hears it. <laughs> I, I think Pamodo Pamodo is gone because of the music, because of uh, his connection, uh, you know, Gambia. So um, now, coming soon. Yeah, he is coming in again. Is it, the network? So Pamodo, we lost you at some point. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, we lost you at some point. So I was just saying, uh, connecting the dots from uh, Mr. Gale, that uh, uh, putting the Gambian artists yeah. on his channel, one of the biggest uh, radio stations uh, in Germany, and which is uh, widely listened to by music lovers, it will be a stepping stone uh, to be able to get the Gambian musicians to a wider audience. And that will give them the opportunity also um uh in the long run to appear into international festivals but notwithstanding again um uh there can be other means of fusing you know two or three uh gambian artists with other international artists uh, like the platform that he already created what do you say to that as a member of the music union and also humanity stars that was the question Well, um, Carl, for, for me, this is a very, very good opportunity. And I think uh, uh, Gambian musicians should really try uh, how well we get ourselves to be exposed mm -hmm. at that level. Uh, because uh, you talked about the cultural exchange, which is very, very important and key. We are in a world now, cultural is one of the key activities, the programs that you can do to actually inject your objectives as to what you want into the hearts and minds of the other part of the world. So I, I, I strongly believe with his uh, uh, office working closely, let's say, for example, with the Musicians Union, for instance, that will really add value to what Musicians Union is doing out here. Mm -hmm. For instance, exactly. uh, the Musicians Union are expected to have Musicians Club. And that means every member out there who is a musician, you are expected to register with the Musicians Union. If you register Musicians Union, that will give an opportunity to the musicians union's executive to also make the add to that card that they give you. For example, they can easily say, okay, fine. Uh, if you register with the musicians union, we already, let's say, sign um, you know, a memorandum of understanding with his office. That way we can actually get added from here, uh, their music, and get it to them and put it out there. It's not only about the money you're getting out from the streams, no, but equally the fact that it's going to expose you and you know widen your findings out there because that is equally very, very key. At the end of the day, it's not that that is only the, the you know the only platform you can do that. No, but you can do it in so many other places. But at the end of the day, uh, for me, it's about uh, being able to product out your content out there for people to listen to it, for people to know you and probably follow you at some point. So that is very, 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 very key for every musician. And I think it's an opportunity that the union equally can value to their account because uh, you know this. I'm, I know this is away from our discussion, but. It is very, very important that we have to, to make sure we force ourselves to add value to that musician's union card. Because if there is no uh, value attached to that musician's card that every year they pay, or uh, the musicians come and pay, and at the end of the day, it is not paying. Like, it's not, the card is not representing anything for you. It's not bringing value to what you're doing. At some point, then it's going to be, you know, what is the point of me, you know, going to get a card that is not actually adding value to what I am doing? Exactly. Exactly. So these are things that uh, the coming executive have to really work to make sure uh, they add value to what the artists are doing over here, what the musicians are doing over here, and collaborating with uh, Gale and his office will be one of those key key to do uh, to make sure that at least artists out here, uh, you know, have been able to out there. Whether it's going to be a cultural exchange, having them on their playlist and so on and so forth, because that is equally very, very important. Yeah, um, I, I think you are very right. Um, it, it's all about exchange programs, you know, sharing ideas and at the same time identifying some of the potentials that we have in the outside world, um, people like Gale. Last time I got uh, Chris Black also here. We have, like, there is a fantastic, you know, uh, big man and, uh, and a big uh, DJ also out of Gambia. They call him uh, King Ralph. Uh, he was the one who linked me with uh, Gale. I never know Gale before. I never know him before. You know, um, I used to see his uh, posters, you know, sharing it all over, but uh, I don't know him personally. So we were connected by King Ralph because I knew King Ralph some years ago through Singade, Freaky Joe. 
when Freaky Joe was um, um, doing well in the music scene, um, you know, thanks to Freaky, um, greetings, my brother. Yeah. Um, so I knew uh, Ralph through Freaky. So when I was talking to um, 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 uh, Ken Ralph, Ken Ralph identified Gale, and you can see uh, Ken Ralph have been supporting a lot of Gambian musicians and also bringing a lot of top, top Jamaican artists to Germany. Um, so he identified and said, hey, there is someone who is doing great, man. I hope you can link up with him. So I, I, I think uh, this is very necessary. It's important that we, we try to identify some of the stakeholders that we have both in the Gambia and outside the Gambia so that we can put synergies together to move the music industry forward. And uh, those words coming from you, uh, Pamodu, like cultural exchange, what are some of the ideas that we can put together? And then bringing up uh, the music union uh, when we have the new executive board selected, what can they do to be able to categorize and recommend those artists they think will be able to be part of some platforms that are international platforms uh, to promote Gambian music? Um, I think that is important. So, uh, Mr. Gale, uh, we just want to know, um, you know, uh, what are some of the biggest events that you organize? Um, if you can tell us a uh, few of them that you do organize in Germany. Um, uh, to be honest, I think uh, with Summer Jam was one of the biggest collaborations. Summer Jam, wow, in Cologne. Yeah, yeah, with, with, with Summer Jam, it was with Summer Jam and with Fuse ODG was the one of the biggest collaborations because this is just like summer yam is like over 35 years and this is one of the biggest reggae festivals in europe yeah but i don't want to cut you i don't want to cut you last year we have this nigerian boy in 2019 um whiskey. um uh whiskey yeah yeah whiskey yeah. Yeah, whiskey, whiskey have a level just like um Jisoo and then st um, can you help next year we have st uh, oh Jisoo in your program yeah, because I saw the live performance, you know, the send on, the send on, the channel that was uh, sending the program live. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think, I think we can do better. I think you know, we can, we, yeah, we have some artists, they can do better. I saw that, I saw that performance. So you know, I was impressed by the performance of um, um, Richie Spice, yeah. uh, which was top knocks you know it was like uh, one hour 50 minutes and that was that was perfect but um uh, whiskey was playing semi live yeah. i can have royal messenger play in that you know 45 minutes you know royal messenger can play that can, can i tell you something exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. that's why i will i will talk straight to him um the the the, the summer jam organiz organizer organizer we just wrote now so he's watching then i will i have to tell him this that um he has to bring next year this is but you know like this time everything is a little bit difficult but he's watching live now and so so it's like um i just don't, don't want to call his name but we just wrote before and i know he's watching so yeah great to, that is great but i i can tell you i can tell you i i can name you five gambian artists they can play 45 minutes with live band any kind of band yeah. you know any kind of band even if it is not a gambian band but they yeah. can play with a fusion band and they will play yeah I, I saw that i saw that and you know i can give names they can perform jalimadi humanity stars you know jisul um royal messenger yeah. i can yeah. go on the list and go yeah. on and go on yeah i have to i, I have to make a little bit uh, on this, this and all things and so but he's he's watching now and he's a very good guy and i will convince him but like i tell you right now it's just a little bit difficult because due to this covid 19 COVID all COVID -19. have to be um Pasum? how to call this in english uh, yeah, was, uh, was is das? Pasum, they have to be Pastogen, uh, yeah everything is uh, uh, yeah to a standstill yeah to make everything is to a standstill yeah. exactly they have their bookings and then uh, they have to do it next year and it's just a little bit difficult but uh, he's a good guy and he's really uh, very open-minded and then like I tell you we are there in connection and it's good that he's working so I can convince him more you know <laughs> okay well um, uh, Gale, uh, Pamodu, what do you what do you have to say I was talking about uh, the category of musicians that we have that are playing um, live they can play 45 minutes uh, quite well you know 
on their own natural you know music music that is not copyrighted music that belongs to them we have artists like that and i i, I think a, great, a brighter example is the humanity stars you know you've been performing you know quite a yeah. <laughs> long time now yeah uh, what does Fupamu do uh, yeah no no um Kalilo, to be honest uh, uh i get very very passionate to talk about Gambian musicians and how hard they are working mm -hmm. in this country with limited resources to make ends meet. To be honest, Gambian musicians are really, really, really trying. I have to say this. We have a long way to go though, but we are working really, really hard. And I form at that particular stage and have a, an impact. I know, just like you put it, we have kids out here who can for them we have seen them keep crowds going for hours you know in a particular show like it's 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 basically about the passion about how you you know you shape up your music going out there but the reality is the boys are really grinding despite the odds to make sure that they are out there and we really have to respect the grind that these boys are doing you know i i, I really uh really look at them sometimes and i'm like man the future for this game for gambia musicians is going to be like it's really really bright the only thing we need to do more, more, more is to structure ourselves in TL means and getting things going to be able to get there because at the end of the day uh you need to surround yourself with people yeah add value to what you do in your music exactly exactly and, uh, th that is important yeah, uh, to do it Gane. out of the law yeah. yeah money comes i think pamodu pamodu's network is fluctuating um is is going and coming going and coming so um that is um yeah and uh, pamodu your network is fluctuating so gale um you said pamodu was talking about um the uh abilities that we have in some of the gambian artists and i think you know them because that is the reason why you have quite a lot of them on your sendom which is your channel uh to big fm um and this is very important i i was very much impressed when i go through the channel and then i had to see what you are providing there and then the the amount of listeners um, that are on that radio alone. So I think that's a very good opportunity um, uh, for some of these uh, Gambian musicians. I would recommend them to you uh, for, the, for them to be able to build that partnership with you with regards to providing their songs to you, um, uh, good songs. And um, people like us all the time, they're sending us songs. So if I, if I have new songs, I will send it to you. I will be knocking your door. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah. But you, know, you know you know what's funny because like i told you i was like beginning of this year i was in gambia uh -huh. i i spoke to some as i was there and i spoke to some and um I, but i just have had this feeling that uh you know sometimes we we only rate some people if they come in a kind of way like if you come uh -huh. there have the biggest gold chain have the biggest car blah, 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 and i just don't go down like that you know so I, I will I will not lie to you. I will tell you what I think. So mm -hmm. if you are if you are with it, it's okay. If not, then I pass and go over because I don't just um I just don't 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 go down like that. So that's why the contract was there. I just don't want to call the names here. I don't know if I, I was to him and the other day, but the people they know this, they know themselves. So of course I know. <laughs> I cannot tell you they need me because some people you know if you think little it will stay little little if you think big it will go big so if you think that you want to stay in your confirm in your conform like con oh, com comfort zone yeah comfort zone is cool you do that that's okay you you can you know anybody can do what you like but if you just as a musician for me you want to go other steps and so you want to reach other steps you want to do other moves and just go away from your comfort zone just not there you know so but um i feel like maybe the one or the other one just want to stay in his comfort zone because he has this, this like small pants and okay if you want to do that cool then it's okay i can only tell you i can do this and that and even 
it's not like I tell I tell one of them, hey, um, do this. Uh, uh, I will do you this and this. I need there for the I I tell everybody straight, hey, I I don't need your money. I need this to this. But we can do this and this. But but I, uh, just to be just to be quite uh, just to be quite clear, what is that that you need from the Gambian artists that you think you could be able to work with them? Uh, that's what I want to know. Uh, if if that service could be provided, or why is that service not being provided? Like if, so, if just I, want to know what kind of what kind of uh, collaborations do you need uh, with the Gambian artist? Like if I if I just have like uh, you know I could I could knock a lot of doors and so exactly. So, but I just need to have like one kind of paperwork i don't need to like me you write a contract of your life or something like that just a kind of paperwork that i mm -hmm. can, i don't i i just don't want to start something and then thousand people are doing it and i leave it you know so okay so uh, the paper the paperwork you are talking about is it like having contract with these artists to say you can be able to exploit their music is that what you're talking about to be honest the music i play i do that because i'm not like this I think ah, uh, if I don't just if I'm not I'm not down with you, I don't play your music, and so I'm not like that. The music is is in the in the in my channel. DNA, DNA. yeah. The when music. it is nice, you play it. When you feel yeah. exactly. when it hits you, you play like no pain. Yeah. So just to knock on more doors and just to do more, I just need more than that. And as soon as I get it, I could do more. But I just don't want to start do this and that, and then you have other thousand people who do it and. Then you have ten people do the same work, and maybe eight or six, six or, or five don't do the right thing. So this this is taking us all back. You know, I'm not. I I, I just don't go out like that. So um, what will be your proposal? Uh, I just want to make this very clear. <laughs> I just want to make it very clear. So I, what will be your proposal with regards to what you actually want? Because like for instance, if I am going to be a middleman between you and the artist because okay it's fine for you to go to the artist also but again you can have also a kind of a management that will be between you and the artist and they can provide this document that you are talking about um can you give us an example yeah. you don't have a problem with that also so all you need all you need is um you need like effective contracts between you and the artist yeah. to be able to push them like the ones that you think uh, they are good for you and your movement yes um because if you say like push them this is just like uh, this is just sounding like oh if you don't have this you will not push them. i push it i do this i play their music and do what i can do uh, exactly just to knock on more doors because if i would knock some doors they would ask me what 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 kind of papers or what kind of contract you get to these people and do you have with them yeah okay like, and things would start not to Things would get not so serious, like if I knock on one, two doors, and the next day, other five or six knock five, knock the door again. So they will think, okay, who is who and what is what. Okay, um, Pamodo is saying we we join him into the program, uh, but um, yeah, I think I think I I, I think um, pa Usman should do that because I don't have um, um, I will not be able to do that. Is Pa Usman there? Uh, pa Usman, um, I'm not getting him. Is Pa Usman with us? Pa Usman Juf. Pa Usman Juf is not with us. Um, uh, you know, so uh, uh, that is very unfortunate. Um, that Pamodu, we are losing him. Uh, yeah. And the simple fact is because of the internet connection. So <laughs> yeah, the internet is going bad on that end. Uh, from that end. Um. So, uh, Galen, uh, that was clear. But again, you know, my 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 commitment here is like um, building partnerships. So, as an event organizer, I know there is quite a lot of event organizers also who are available here in Germany. Um, um, you know, you have uh, the uh, um, I don't know how to call it um, King Ralph. You have King Ralph. You have um, yeah. You have uh, uh, Chris Black in Stuttgart. Yeah. You have Peace Boy Cham in Stuttgart. Yeah. You have DJ Adi and all these DJs. I know them. They they have club programs. Yeah. So don't you think? Don't you think? Like for instance, you know, 
coming together like and forming up a kind of a platform that is going to look into all the different advantages that you were talking about like fusing both internationals and then gambians together who will be able to do something for all of us of, of course of course but like I, like i told you we need to put them first on the map mm -hmm. first of all. and second uh this 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 working together will only function when we when we all are really open and honest to each other each other exactly and mm -hmm. i like that uh, i can tell you this just some are just not so honest but i i don't get me to call names i don't call names because that's just not my way but um yeah but if we if we are all honest and, and, and open for it, to each other then it will work but uh, this is right now not the case, you know. But this is the other thing. This is yeah. the yeah. Exactly. Uh, so uh, th that is that that is good. Uh, we just have to be honest, uh, like you said. But um, you know, um, <laughs> in culture, building partnerships is very very important, and uh, I like that fact because of um, when you want to have cultural exchange programs and at the same time when you want to expose your country's music to another part um, and then you want to give that opportunity to your country's musicians to be able to get into the tour circuits like some of the international tour circuits one yeah. thing that you were talking about which is important that is documentation so uh, i know for a fact that you being a promoter there are some funds even in Germany you cannot access them when you don't have five year um, recognition as a promoter in one of the fields that you represent yourself. If you are a DJ, you have to prove that you have been in Germany for five years and you've been doing something, something like good. So yeah. um, can you tell us something about those registration? Which kind of registration do you hold um, uh, with your Catch a Fire movement? Which kind of, is it a, a single, uh, like something like that a company contract or yeah, it's a registration. company yeah it's a company but you you have companies like uh, um like mine and you have companies to how to call farine for uh, farine yeah, yeah that is a, a organization yeah organization it's a registered a, a registered foundation or organization or society or a movement so that is a farine yeah exactly. farine so you have this this uh, uh, societies too that you have just a lot of uh, um, chances to to do this these cultural things and the mm -hmm. state even support you. Yeah, so so yours is a farine. I is that you talking I, about? I, mine is a company, but I can organize these things. But to have a real uh, this society some society organizations, you need like at least seven people. Uh, yeah, seven people registration. So that, that is what you are talking about, the, the foreign part of it. Exactly. Exactly. So it's important. It's important that we know somebody who is looking into that direction. So uh, I think I've been talking to a lot of people, and then they could not answer that question. So now you you come in there. So um, like as an individual uh, company, you have access to individual funds uh, in the country. But again, as a foreign, yeah. foreign, um, you know, foreign. So, which is like a foundation or an organization, arts organization, then you have more opportunities to those big funds definitely. that you talk about. Def definitely, and you you can you can get a lot of support too from the state, mm -hmm. and they they are supporting a lot of uh, cultural events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, what's just more important? What's just important is that you have to just have your papers paperwork very good together because at mm -hmm. the end of the year uh you have to just present like the finance office financial report yeah financial report what are the gains and what yeah something like that how you spend the monies and things like that very um very important it can be very dangerous in germany too if you don't make your finance uh, papers and stuff, you know? oh <laughs> i know so do, so do you have a financial <laughs> officer who is doing that for you <laughs> and catch a fire they don't they don't play with that they no we all know that yeah every every time they will send you like, letters like brief they, yeah they don't, they don't play yeah, with yeah, them. yeah yeah them fall yeah and they will send brief to you all the, every day every week a brief yeah. will come you that's know true. Stuff. That's really true. 
So um, it's very, very interesting to um, uh, to know you and then to know what you are doing with regards to um, uh, Catch a Fire movement and at the same time um, the um, uh, the radio uh, Big FM. Uh, so what what do you want to see? Um, uh, what do you think the opportunities that we have in the music industry of the Gambia? What do you think? Uh, you know. As yeah. I think as, as in the in the future, or like yeah. In the future, as soon as we spread the music and good, we have really big future because like we have really good and talented artists. And just imagine this: that's a country what not even having like two million Gambians. They say three or two and a half, but as if you ask me, I will tell you maybe two million or whatever you know. So we don't have that much that much people. I mean, but we have so much talent talented artists, and so that we could do and reach a lot. But we have to just do this work first, you know. So if you don't. If if you don't if we are not ready to sacrifice that it will not be easy and so. So um, doing the work, what 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 kind of work are you talking about? Are you talking about professionalism at you know the music level, like uh, how they compose their songs, the relics that they come to get, you know, they they comfort with, and then you know the, uh, playing also in 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 a band like you know life band where you know people can be you know they can attract a lot of uh, uh, i think the first step can be just to spread the music mm -hmm. as much for people as possible to hear that means when i when i say spread the music i don't mean only germany that when we have just good djs to or radio people in england in norway whatever us just everywhere exactly but on a professional level or on a level that as much people can listen it as possible, you know, because mm -hmm. not, some people are not even in, in big registrations, but they have a lot of people uh, that listen. So that's why when we get from all these places, when we get people that can spread the music, that the people can hear it, then this would be the first step I would choose. Okay, so uh, um, yeah, so as a, as a, as a, uh, as a, cultural or as an event organizer yeah. uh, and then with COVID-19, what are your plans in, in the next coming six months? Uh, as a, are you trying to go virtual or you are just staying with the radio, uh, giving them um, content, providing content to the radio station I'm and then that is what you are looking more, forward more to? The radio and I think like in, in two years or one and a half years, I will, I will be celebrating my 20 years of of catch a fire but right now it's everything just a little bit crazy so like i could tell you that i want to do this and that and so but plants are there but right now even in europe it's not easy because everything just kind of mashed up but yeah but i think maybe in 2021 um this COVID situation will end because um vaccines are coming and we all pray that these vaccines can come as soon as possible because before in in in, in my arbeit class uh, uh like in, in in my working place um like when they test us it took like about um one week before they give us the result and now they just test you and then in 30 minutes they bring you the result so meaning meaning you know so they're coming up with new things and probably in 2021 all these things will end and we can have another summer jam we can have another festival again in stuttgart you know where we can knock horns you know we can party hard and then you know i would love to see our boys coming into those programs i would love, I would love that too you know it's, it's funny you talk about this this uh injection or whatever for this COVID 19 because i'm working in the healthcare uh, yeah yeah i'm working in the health system here in germany this is my second work and uh we've been tested and according to what they're talking like if if the real vac vaccination if it's come and then um, we would be like one of the first people who can do it, you know. But I know a lot of people don't want to do it. A lot of people do it. Ah, it's just I just don't know. I just have to. We just have to wait some things. But till right now, I just concentrate on my radio thing, and then um, because it's the radio thing is working good, and I think um, uh, it will get better and better because the more the people stay at home, the more they listen to radio. Okay. All right. Um. Um. Yeah. So, Baba Gale, we we've already spent one hour into the program. It was very on. Uh, Pamodu.
um, our friend because of bad internet connection. So, but uh, notwithstanding, uh, I will want you to give your last word and some of your advice uh, to Gambian musicians and also the uh, stakeholders in the uh, music sector. Okay, I would first, first of all say that um, the musicians should be very focused on their music. Mm -hmm. Second, work hard on it and uh, be, fo be um, they have to sacrifice some things to get something. Not in common. Mm -hmm. You know. Wow, and, I like that. Okay. Yeah, I, ha I have to tell my, my Gambian brothers that they don't need just to, to, they don't just need, they don't need to respect or just uh, think somebody is something because of he, he come with, with this and that, like, you know what I mean, with the biggest car or with thousand gold chain. And so sometimes they just have to just, uh, get down and go back again get Lelo, yeah Lelo in some in some yeah okay exactly sometimes of course you never know who's telling you this and that and so but if some people can prove you some things and you see what they are doing you know nobody will come to you if they don't want um if they want something they will not come to you and offer you that they will do and you see what they do first and after you can work with him nobody will offer this they will come straight and tell you give me this give me that you know what i mean Okay, so I, I I will just want to maintain my position here with regards to the summer jam, yeah. the summer jam festival in Cologne because you know that that is a wicked wicked festival. Okay. So if the CEO is still watching us, I just want to recommend to him that I can give him thousand proofs. I can give him thousand points that we need a Gambian on summer jam. I you know as soon as possible, and we can give those justifications. Yeah. If if he wants, we can send that to you the justifications, and I hope that the next summer jam immediately after uh, Corona, a Gambian will be. And and mind you, you know, all what we are doing is about at the end of the day is about is about money. You know, it's about revenue. Okay. So summer jam is creating a lot of revenue, even though they're giving a lot of entertainment, but also revenue. So we have quite a lot of Gambians that are living in germany and you know that just in baden wittenberg you know in stuttgart area you have more than thirty-five thousand gambians who are you know around that area yeah. so if, if yeah so if we can have two gambian artists to attend summer jam with some of the big uh jamaican artists and also other artists from other parts of the world my god okay. my god man a good head. that is going to be a good one so sell that out to your man tell him that the gambians are ready and drink with him coffee i will do that exactly so um thank you so much my brother it was um it was very nice having you and um and you know talking to you uh, with regards to what you do with catch a fire and also um the uh, big fm like uh, the the radio station that you're working with um one, one, one thing but not so, not so long. sorry for continue uh right now nine o'clock yeah right now since eight minutes um Peace Boy, Peace Boy Cham is on the Big FM Live. So everybody's... Yeah, Peace Boy, Peace Boy Cham is on Big FM Live. I, I think my boss is also around. Pa Usman Juf. Pa, we were trying to get to you. And, you know, we were calling your name. I, I, I see that, yes. They are trying to get me in. <laughs> yeah, I was trying I was... to get you. So we, we have um, uh, Baba Gale. Uh, you know, the name is Big G. Uh, so the Big is Big Gale. Uh, he's a flaman, yeah. He's a flaman uh, uh, from from the Gambia, and he's doing great, working with Summer Jam Festival, and at the same time, Catch a Fire Movement and a big radio station in Germany. You know, my God. So we just found it out, you know, so, some weeks ago. Yeah, he's yes, a great you. guy. Thank you very much. I sometimes stumble on his things as I see Gambians in the entertainment industry, especially those abroad seem to have a click and occasionally they share each other's stuff and through that mm -hmm. i have put on his name and he's definitely doing a wonderful job i was not gonna come into your show today um mm -hmm. because i am busy doing a lot of behind the scenes work as you already know it's um the wedding ceremony for one of our staff I said, yeah, a lot yeah. of great oh. in Gambia. Yeah. and the team is very busy with that so i am hosting your show or coordinating your show for you now you. but last thing you said in which you are encouraging him you are passionate about having gambian artists 
to be on board these big platforms. And um, he may have control, but there are a few things that artists need to do that would convince big international promoters as well as government and festival organizers to believe in what you say. I heard you, Kalilu, saying that, oh, we can give a lot of proofs. I mean, to see why Gambians are needed in these festivals or in these teams. It is true that you may have a lot of support, a lot of Gambians in Germany and other places who go out for the summer jam, who go to a lot of these other programs and attend them. That is what you can prove. The burden is not on the people going there. The burden is on the artists and what they can do. And I, that's why I came in here, actually, to give okay. those tips, right? Mm -hmm. From yeah. my experience, there is no doubt, Singate could be watching. I have quite a bit of experience in these things, and that's what I'm saying. First and most important thing that our artists need to have is to register their businesses in Gambia. Register it with the Attorney General's Chambers, with... Um, all the necessary authorities, most of them, NCAC, when you talk about registration, yeah. they talk about NCAC. Yes, NCAC registration is good, but that is not the legal registration. Let them register, register their businesses with the NC, with the Attorney General's Chambers. Let them go to all the necessary places. I mean, even including GPPA. For example, if any of them was to earn government contract, if they don't have a GPPA registration, they're not going to have it. The you, government you, you, is not going to you. If you don't have GPPA registration, and this is just local in Gambia, there are certain mm -hmm. benefits that they cannot have. Not because they don't have the status. I've had artists that the most you, um, and I'm going to come to that. After they register their businesses, let them go and open a bank account. In the name of the business, a lot of Gambian musicians, when you deal with them, they like to be paid cash money because they want to be paid today, tomorrow they go and cook their good benekins and domadas and bahals and buy afra or do whatever they want to do um, with their fa, fa, fa. Some of them are doing it now. Some of them are doing it. Let them, yes, let them register their money, have a bank account in the name of the business, let people pay them and let the money be deposited into the account. Let them cut salaries for themselves. Let it look like a structured institution where they pay themselves salaries instead yes. of I get paid today, tomorrow I go spend 10,000 give. Nah, it just on your bunina. Go give your girlfriend, give your wife, give people, or as the band, if they are a band, each of them go home with 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 as they would do. This is the order of the day. I can understand partly that it is very hard. They want to get paid because the next day, maybe they have a lot of debts sitting there waiting for them. They don't mm -hmm. like it when I say these things because it's like Nkela Kulo Lefo. Damalene Kadi where they was in Sutura Yena in Nikogite. Because the struggle is real in Gambia. A lot of them we are making it right. Uh, I, I totally agree with you. Um, um, some of the things that you are talking about, we totally agree. That is why I always love to have you because you bring something that Kalilu will not say because I am them. I am, I am the artist. This is, this is so. the reality. When I say it, this is why they don't like when Pa comes to the platform or when Pa talks, because I say that it is. And they cannot deny what I'm saying. The struggle is real within them. We all know that Gambian music is big struggle. The name is bigger than um, 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 the amount of money. Their name don't translate to the amount of money that they are making. It doesn't equal to the amount of money they are making. So they have that high prestige there. They, they are big. They have a name and everything. That's not the amount of money that they are making. And in fact, it makes it hard for people like us. We have a show called Select Trip in which we want to be going to their houses, follow them every day and follow what they're doing. It's very hard because a lot of them, if you want to go to their houses, they don't want the public to see where they live, how they live and the things that are happening. This is just the fact. That show is very successful. Very few of them want to be on it because it's yeah, gonna show. Yeah, if they're... I want to prove, if I want to prove at a uh, summer jam festival, they want to know your social dealing uh, with the people. Yeah. How do you? How do you even uh, um, uh, uh, mobilize what you call a, a crowd? Uh, how is your crowd? The nature of yes. your crowd? Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so if they register, let me just say these points to them real quickly. If they register, they have a bank mm -hmm. account. They are paying themselves salaries rather than yeta show to that night. You make twenty thousand, thirty thousand, hundred thousand dollars that night or the next day. You want to divide all of that momo in entire task work or not? 
it's not going to help you. You need to have salaries, pay all your staff, monthly salaries or however you're going to do it. Let there be a bank account where this money is deposited. Let it show that each and every one of them, because if you want to go with that ban, you need to be able to prove that these are your band members. They need to be able to know how do you prove that by having this structure, have them on a payroll where this is how much money everybody is making at the end of the month. I know it's and no, crazy, but this is what we said. This is what we said. Mm, this is what will take them to that international standard. Set yeah. them to that international standard. In, most importantly, another important thing is to have a website. All of them focus on their social media pages. Social media is good, but you need to have a professional website that has all your details there, your biography, have pictures and videos, have your bookings and your events that are coming up. Not social media. I have 30,000, 100,000, 200,000 followers. I'm not saying it's not good, but you need a professional website that has all your details on it because that is what will be able to give it to them, not the social media in Iran. Social media may not translate to the reality. You need to be professionally structured. And mm -hmm. by so where they can go and find your bookings, where they can go and find your contact details, where they can go and find your biography, where everything is written and it's not chock up. You write on, you go on their social media, people are insulting and doing a lot of things. Your fans are there. Interacting but Dr. Malaza, Dr. Malaza, Dr. Malaza, the cultural mm -hmm. funds that you know about and even some of the things, uh, cultural funds that I know about, there mm -hmm. is a section where they will tell you that uh, your website, proof of website, and then you know your social media and links and all that. So it means that the the website is very. Hello, as I'm talking to you, Bing Man called mm -hmm. a few minutes ago. I was filling out this form, this form. Dumala here, break this form. Mawala yeah, yeah. chat direct. This is coming mm -hmm. from Office of Financial Management, right yeah. of the United States of America, of of State of Washington. If you can see it. Office of Finance. Yeah, Office of Finance. Yeah, I just finance. Form out and it has all of those things. Your address, your telephone number, your website, and all of that. This is for Gambian Talent Promotion. There's a project that I just got approved for, and it's an arts project that I just got approved for, for a program or a festival that I want to do, wanted to do this year, but we'll be doing next year. We are next cooking year. a lot of things that eventually will come out, most of which you know How about. about I, do, do I know? I know about that. <laughs> we would not uh, be talking about this thing. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, know you know, you wrote the proposal. So they will you ask wrote the proposal. Anyway, you wrote, you wrote the proposal, Kalilo. So you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, yeah, so they, they will. They will talk about those. You know, so you need all those elements. But anyway, um, uh, pa, hanga yo ya de wa lo hamne mandu mako nyeme ya wa hanga galay man. Barujo is watching. Barujo is watching. He just said it. What Pa Usman is saying, I have been talking about for many years. But you do my friend, he's an international, and I know he's a fan and follower of this show and Gambian talent. And I've been in touch with him for years. This is not yeah. something he told me, it is something that I know because I live it and I yeah. do it on a regular basis. So, yeah. Shumako, hey, but you are for kids and confirm it. This is just the reality. Yeah. Gambian artists, hey, man, they have same problems, so far, they solutions. I'm telling you, there are solutions, but their problem is music. But it's, you know, they get big headed and they focus on the wrong things. On the wrong yeah, exactly. 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 I'm like yeah. that international standard. Don't like Simon Jalibar to the last person. Even Jalibar Piatra need to rebrand himself. The leading Balako Joge was Dom Mambi. I was just talking to his son yesterday. I just told him this. Your dad needs to rebrand himself. Exactly. He's listening to he is listening to me. I just told him this yesterday. Your dad needs to rebrand himself. <laughs> pa, you but, I will say it as it is. You know, because of my own, I quite a malefer and is the reality. Uh huh. 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 Uh I said, let me bring this forward to them. Let them go get a website, professional website. Let them have their music, a good number of, like you said, to their cafe. Now, some of mm -hmm. them are having their music on international platforms, distribution channels like um, 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 Apple Music, iTunes, and all these places. That is good. Let them be on those distribution platforms. Let them try to make sure that they are following international standards. Let them be registered with international organizations, music organizations and institutions that are recognized, not only within exactly. Gambia, not only it's within Gambia, like, let them participate. Uh, 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 you were saying something very important. Uh, the International Music Federation is a partner with the Gambian Musicians Union. So if an okay. artist is traveling, they give you recommendation. 
when you are going to when Jaliba was going to UK uh, in 2016, mm -hmm. I wrote to uh, no, no, uh, no, the Music Union of the Gambia wrote to uh, the International Music Federation. They have their headquarters in Paris. They wrote to UK because they had their Secretary General in UK. The Secretary General invited Jaliba Kwate to their office. So that was the first time after Jaliba has been traveling almost 50 years ago all over the world. He have never known that there was a musician union in the UK. So he went and to the UK to meet the office. We wrote about that. And, 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 and thank God, Nelegi, a good number of them are benefiting from the struggles that some people went through, like the singers and others. Gambian artist Ilegi Nivaneka, New Melni SD, they have been denied visas multiple times. I know yeah. about it. These are some of the reasons. They don't have collateral in the country. The exactly. What collateral? You then deny a visa. So if you're in America, they will put for you that you don't have enough collateral to show that you, when you return back to Gambia, you will go to another, another EU border. Yes, border. They need this collateral. They need to yeah. show that they have business. They need to show that they have property and assets. Let them do some investment. Kusine Kasinom have a compound. Amal Kir, Amal Jabar, Amal Dom. Right now, yes, good number of them. You am Dom, the Biral Tibeti, the Hajane, and Dom, you know, TLN Facebook. We've seen it. My boss is here. So, you are in JDF. You are in JDF. You are in JDF. But it's, it's, it's living. We are seeing them making some progress, which is good. Just yesterday, for another day before, I saw you wrote something about companies in Gambia using the boys' songs while well, a guy saying songs it is organized I did have a commercial so hey you need a new promote um RTC ugly if everything mm -hmm. is structured and it's good that Yuba is coming up with things like that NCAC needs to stop step up and do some of those things. No, but, 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 but then when we start the advocacy some people are arguing that Nako we don't need those laws in the Gambia but they don't know it starts from number one protection everywhere because copyright is a basic human right uh for the musicians because of uh, for, for for creators because it's your intellectual property right so that is your basic uh human right, right. so you cannot say somebody's basic human right he doesn't need it now he need it later so that is a gross mistake that people make so um you were starting it now you can see it. there was a time he was posting about oh copyright this copyright that but we have to do that and that. It doesn't matter. Even if it is one person who yes, is copyrighted, then that, that person must be secured. The person must be secured. Uh, it was cutting off, yes, Kalilu. But then, yes, these are all different things that need to happen. I mean, RTC need to get it to the next level. Let them have their music copyrighted. If they register their music, put it on these distribution platforms, that is going to help them at the end of the day to make sure it elevates them to the next level. I mean, so you know that same show, same, same performance. See, let them clean their music. It is true. It is true. music, you see, buddy, they are cussing in it. He is good. He is loved by the young people. Let him clean his music. For the most part, if he wants to make it to the international standard, that's another problem that they have right there. Nobody see them, they do on court version. Man, I interview them for the longest. I challenge them on this. They'll tell me this. But they need to have two versions of their songs if they're going to have a dirty version, a street version, and a clean version that they can perform in some places, in some festivals. That's another important component. This will never talk. No, yet artists, he just last show and be My team went to cover that show. They learned that three young ladies went to cover it live when they were going out, they learned rapino and wanted to. Take swing gadgets, swing bagasi. Do they know how expensive our stuff are? Some might be guiding such a might be. Some might be. Maria Masisa was fighting with them. Then they rap you know. No makale bugale na lefin such a. I had a special conversation with his manager, Duma Bay Buso, just last week. Say guy am program. I told him we are not going to cover. Can you see your same programs in life again? Because we have too many expensive equipment. You don't put the cover. You need to guide this such a swing bagasi ugly. I told him to encourage his artists who is the call stage be. Na encourage fans ami wahle ne dangen mabuga gis man jizol nyu ne ko waw mu ne len sugen mabuga gis nañ len di descent nañ len ñew ñu pati ñu am fon ñu enjoy sun bofa and not to be causing troubles stealing na len there are a lot of security concerns ñu bari buga ñu ñew ci programme ci concert ci but there are a lot of security concerns and kalilu it is important you do a show on this ñom ñi def programme yeb they will tell you you know what buso told me bima ko ne ay xale jigen rek lañ amé ñoñ lañ sen mu na ma bro it's not only xale jigen ni rek and the biggest person, such a you, they come in group, they will pay each hundred, two hundred, whatever we charge to enter in the door. Four of them, five of them, you know, you guru bola. 
nous n'avons pas de bagasse. Nous avons des messes, des lacs, des esprits, des programmes. Nous avons des messes, des messes, des messes, des messes, des messes, des messes. Because of security reasons. Nes Vimshol, Nes Vimshol is what they were trying to get off of her head. So they gave her a big blow for Mumi so that you wouldn't get a mess. We have got some not doing this, but some of the things I tell for tea, for living. You can tell me, we go to the exchange, we go to the sol. They steal all of those things. Security concern is big. You have to send concerts. So like you see, you have to send programs, concerts, you have to send a place, you have to send open places, you know, that is not secure. If you go to cover time, it will be very minimal. Because there is a Security, but when they perform, Balama Mr. Stott, let them clean their songs. Then I talk for this guy. I don't want to say this. You must say that all you motherfuckers in the house, where are my niggas? Where are the motherfuckers? I'm sorry for saying this, but maybe they don't know or understand these things, especially for the international audience. When they say this, you can perform the platform, but Max, they need to cut some of these things using the bitch. The B word, the S word, the N word, the F word, all these mm -hmm. words we need to try to clean. And you mention one like Gizul. He is good, there is no doubt. Let Gizul go and learn to do live band. I have nothing against these people. I wish them success and all Gambian musicians. To he that. needs to learn to well, do live band we'll performance. Come to that later. My, my guests are live band performance. 25 minutes now is more than that. He has another important business to go into. Uh, I will bring him here again, and I will bring you also Hello? back. But bala bala nyo dog rek two hundred sawai. Hello. Mama gale yama dego. Mama na dega wata magi na dega. Wa pa mungi mene kubuka gena wa damo kwa na dega bala mo dem you know mu yoni suma two hundred dollars be na man yeah oh elek duma duma lal computer. Pause pause ma. So ah uh, bala gale your final words um. Powers yeah. Mungaman end up again. Wow. Okay. Thanks, thanks everybody to be to listen and being there. And um I hope we can feed you people very soon with a lot of Gambian music and talented artists. One love. Blessings. Yeah, thank you so much, Baba Gale. It, it was a pleasure having you tonight. And then I am grateful um that we learned a lot from you. And uh, especially at the ending part when Paus Man came, um, talking about things that were very important for artists to be able to be documented and at the same time to have what you call security. Uh, when they are traveling, um, they can be represented and they can be uh, you know, given visas. Uh, <laughs> to just send my 200 or else tomorrow I'm not going to touch the computer. I know, right? Live band performance is what the last thing I want to say. One like Jizul, he is good, but Jizul is not a good live band performer. Motosoko is a always sweet performer. Semi life la de or mut nyaka def life, mut playback. Yeah, so job said artists have to understand that internationally touring and performing is like a military operation, not just a party form. Yes. So that brings me to the live band performance. I want to say about new Jizul Agni. Jizul needs to learn how to do live band performance and mother for you very if not dinner player hunger you can be and see lena and this i often say whether it's the musicians whether it's the politicians whether it's the religious leaders in intellectuals noon no no kafa junale we are not very critical minded then you go to sur to learn from barry wood so what because we operate at that mediocre level when you need in the record we accept it to be the best yeah but international standard don't work like that. Yeah, Choir, I just give you an example. Peace Choir, Peace Choir. When they came, they were doing only this, uh, like um, they were doing records, but normal records like at playback, at semi live. But yes. at some point, they had their own band, and this band was what was taking them international. So that advice was given to even your boy when you were managing him, Singate. When he came, he was like, boom. I told him, I said, hey. Go and build yourself, surround yourself with a band. So anytime you have to go international, you go with that band. They see that face of the band, and then you can be compared to um, um, Lucky Duby of, uh, of of South Africa, and then you can be compared to um, and who uh, Tikin Jafakoli. Look at Tikin Jafakoli of Ivory Coast. And they need to understand these basic. They need to understand these basic things. Live band performance is what people pay millions or thousands of dollars for to go perform. So they may just play back to me, but they will pay you chicken change. 
compared to if you can do live band. So let him go and learn to do this. I'm not saying it's not going to work, but for those international festivals and stuff, that's what you're going to make. That is very important for them to right. learn to have a live band performance and stuff. So this is very important anyway. These wow, are wow, the pause the man for president. Yeah, but we just <laughs> Uncle Mune, pause man for president. So these are just some of these are just some of the tips that I wanted to share here. I mean, at the end of the day, because it's very important that Pause man, now you are talking. Artists need to become professionals. They don't have they don't have business status, no profile, uh, promotional materials, no rider, not even an email to contact them. You see, uh, the 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 tour rider he is talking about. There were two international bands uh, that were coming from Europe to Gambia. Like one is from America. They call them the Mad Noise. It was organized by the American embassy. So they just have to send a tour rider. And from that tour rider, you, uh, we go through it and know exactly what they want to be able to play. That was a wicked performance in, at Alliance Franco Gambia. So, and um, King Cora of Switzerland, you know, Baba Gale, you know him very well. He plays with Elijah. Like Elijah, you know, so King Cora also he sent yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. So th th these are these are very important pieces of information, Kalilu, that our artists need to know. My biggest mm -hmm. advice to them is let them stop um being carried away by the hype. The mm -hmm. hype, the little hype, Kukosi Am Sinyom, you think you're big, and as a result, they lose focus of the thing that they need to do. Yes, they are doing okay, and no, let them also be grateful to. Those who were there before them, let them be willing to learn from those people and stop saying Kotoi den bai sen loho. Kotoi den bai sen loho. Everybody who comes down and put kill Dhamma, Ray, those who were there before you, you have to Dhamma say any laugh. Be appreciative of those who were there before you and give them the respect that they deserve and learn from them and know that they also well, have the, 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 the money is saying these rastas are very eloquent especially the host thank you aji 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 what, what are you talking about <laughs> I, I i graduated from the university of the people not Cambridge university university of the people <laughs> uh, yes. mm. So, so these are all very important things, Kalilu, that needs to be, um, yeah, I'm just here showing you some of the messages that people send, random messages that people send. But yes, these are very important things that they need to focus on and they need to do if they want to be at that international level. If not, Munen Fe show all the chocho we want, and that's what it is. And let them also know they swing them a new talk. Dimenya a lot of other opportunities. It doesn't matter how big you are in Gambia. Nature doesn't like vacuum. We've seen them go and come back. That is not the end of the world. Me Gambian artists, you see them talk, yep, me neka Europe, but America, you see, but it's not especially Europe. It's not their first time letting them talk. No masabi ak orders, ding on the new new, yes, but I know fugitives, yep, then them new art. I remember that. No Dr. Oluganda, they've been to different places, including America. Pa Omar Jag been to different countries, including America. Singers have been to different countries, including America. New Baris, you know, them new art, them new art. Bye, Babu, move him again, touch that much stronger, better. Because of Lulu, I'm a college I interviews. That's what they may have done. Talk, my brother, be like, well, I know you can't touch me. Don't them fan the talk. Lila, they want more jury. Ana ba ba bulegi talk. Ana safari I'm fair. When I say it, they don't like it. Safari I'm fair, na. I say it. He's talking oh, wow. very hard, releasing songs. His songs are not going anywhere. Do be Europe, they do Gambia. He's gonna yeah, have. Because, because you need that more on in music. Music life la. Music is yeah. a life. Yes. So the, that is the definition. The line right now, he doesn't have the DJs or the producers to be producer for the kind of beats they used to produce. Yeah. Him. Uh huh. Uh huh. Young Mubuga Tanga, Young Mubuga Tanga, and I have a very long day. I need to. Wow, wow. Young Fata Fata Loco. Um. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Then the music. Wow. Anyway, that is just uh, that is just. Thank you so much. Um. Uh, Powers for coming in. I always like. Yeah. Uh. Play about this no more. Well, Dale, so, uh, Dale, Dale uh, want to say, you want to say something, Dale? It's like Dale uh, wants to say something. Uh huh. So, uh, Mr. Because you have not your No, I'm on it. I said, how can money are for a president? My next president is going to be Jaro Lade. Ha, bah, Lada. Jaro Lade. Momangemba. Carl Momangemba. Ah. Well, but, 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 but
Anyway, let thank you so much, Powers. I salute you so much. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me urge Uncle Badu. I want Uncle Badu to come to this platform. My wow. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Charlie, the very mom, Tamina, he's always there commenting. Nanyo, you just have to be in Kali Lu, and my new host, Badu. That would be a very big and interesting. Oh my God, that is going to be wonderful. I, I, Uncle, I am urging you to come to my platform. We want the young people to learn from your experience. And now this platform is for sharing of experience, ideas, and knowledge about mm -hmm. the cultural sector. So we definitely need you, Uncle. Uh -huh. For years, I've been following him for years. For good yeah. seven years or eight, Manko follow. He never come, he never wanted to come to the platform, but he needs to, not only by writing. Artists need to all mm. these small young artists, you have a young performer, one of the guys last time, when the Music Union or the National Center for Arts and Culture want to promote our local Gambian music and fuse it with a, you know, modern uh, music uh, forms, eh? they can take him as a consultant. He will just mm, come and make compositions of our old generation. See, you am this young artist and they sing those songs again. He has a lot to offer. There is no joke. No, he, he has, has a, a lot to offer, offer. man. You know, yes, he has a lot to offer and he needs to bring that here. It is needed. We need the body to come and guide the kids. We need them to guide the younger ones. There is a gap here, Kalilo. And that gap, there is a gap. There is a gap here, Kalilo. And that gap, there is a gap here, Kalilo. There is a gap here, Kalilo. There is a gap here, Kalilo. First, there is a gap here, Kalilo. 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 Well, Uncle Boy, should be angry. Sometimes I'm going to protect dictionary. Can you look by hell? No more being a poor hawk. So let him go back. I mean, sometimes level and be is way higher from uh -huh. the experience to the English he speaks and everything. They may not understand it. He needs to come down to their level and actually do. Yeah. You know, you yeah. in Wolof, you know, you in Wolof, so that yeah. a greater part of the society can learn from it. Exactly. Uh, somebody played a, a lot of big reggae festivals. We, yeah, I, I've seen that. You know, we I only compose for professionals. Yeah, that's what we are talking about, Uncle. That's what we are talking about. Um uh Gale, once again, thank you so much. So uh, uh, we yeah, we, we want to go now. Uh your nephew, one of your nephews, and Shiba. Yeah, thank you so much uh for coming and I want to thank you, Pa, also. Um until we come your way, this is the gum so in focus and good night to you all. Our lovely listeners. Yeah, thank you. Good night. Gambian Talents TV, Nunule la doku o seneyata. Gambia Talents TV, Nunule la doku o betiyata. Gambia, ngala doku o betiyata. Gambia Talents TV, Nunule la doku o seneyata. Gambia Talents TV, Nunule la doku o betiyata. Yeah, Gambia, ngala doku o seneyata. Yo Gambian Talents TV njalam alnal badi malam nene jele suso bintele bale jantonko alkal Gambian Talents TV la moy every day and night TV la mi yalla nako mashallah ila diamul kabeti yalla la promotional kabeti yalla wow 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 ala barak ngali yende o kwa yule nata ka mezu golu kidi mandi yule nata ka adiso lu kidi mandi yule nata ka jalo ganyandi Nulla nata o kajolo lo fanam fintindi Facebook oto YouTube Facebook oto ngoeko YouTube Gambia talent muna promotion lem Gambia talent muna promotion ngonde jaworode maribunga wate wate muna nge jubele wate wate muna nge la moile Wate wate buna ngela kuwa mila gambi ya talentu oye gambi ya talentu oye ngole dunla nata oye kanto ni kidi mandi kanto ni sewondi kanto ni nganyandi gambi ya talentu buna gambi ya talentu buna gambi talentu oye gambi talentu oye ewali pausmanju inimbali